silent installers are supported by many brother devices. Their purpose is to automate the installation of drivers and software, removing the need for end users to do these things by themselves, helping to increase efficiencies and reduce printer driver related inquiries to your IT support staff. In order to silently install a brother printer driver, a small amount of preparation is required. I have split this preparation into the following four chapters. If you are watching this video on YouTube and would like to skip ahead, click the chapter shown on the timeline or within the description. Brother Silent Installers can be downloaded from the Brother Support website. Simply go to support.brother.com Find your Brother device Go to the Downloads area Ensure that you have selected your version of Windows Then download the full driver and software package. The full driver and software package will download as a self-extractable file. Please run it to extract the contents into a folder which it automatically creates. Close the installer wizard if it automatically loads afterwards. To install the printer driver only, we do not need most of what is contained within the full driver and software package. Therefore, I'm going to show you which files we do need. To do this, go into the self-extracted folder, then go into the MSI subfolder. If you cannot find this MSI subfolder, it probably means that the printer driver for your brother device cannot natively be installed silently. Inside this folder, you will find a series of MSI installer files. One of them is from the printer driver. The next job is to find it, because as you can see, the file names do not really help us. To do this, right click one of the files. Then, select the Properties option. From the Properties window, click the Details tab. Then, check if the subject of the MSI installer has Brother Printer Driver or Brother BR Script 3 Printer Driver written into it. If it does not, repeat this process with the other MSI files until you find the correct one. When you do find it, I recommend you copy the printer driver's MSI installer file to another folder. I also recommend you give it a new name to help you recognize it later on. We now need to find another file. To do this, go back into the full driver and software package, then open the subfolder model. Here, you will find a series of files with the extension .dat. These are data files, and each one has information about different brother devices. What we need to do is find the data file concerning your brother device. The easiest way to do this is to open each one into a text file. At the top will be the brother device it refers to. Keep opening them until you find the data file with your brother device inside it. When you find it, I recommend you also copy this file to the same folder as the MSI installer. If you followed my recommendations, you should now have the following two files, an MSI installer and a data file. I will now show you what to do with them. If 
you run this installer on its own, it will not do anything. This is because we need to give it further information by passing it some parameters. I will show you how to do this from an administrator elevated command prompt. The first thing we need to do is call a Windows function called MSI exec. Next, we need to type the parameter forward slash i. What this does is specify a standard install. Within quotation marks, we need to type the name and location of the printer driver's MSI installer file. To prevent the installation from disrupting the end user, by that I mean displaying any windows or messages to them during the install, type the parameter forward slash Q. Q means quiet. Here we need to pass some brother specific MSI parameters. For example, the name of the printer driver. These are the rest of the brother specific MSI parameters. Please note that these parameters are for network connected devices only. So, what do they all mean? This parameter is used to tell the installer which driver to use. It can be found in your device's data file next to the text printer driver name for the standard driver and PS driver name for the BR script 3 driver. This is what it should look like when installing a HLL 6400DW. If you are creating a silent installer for a USB device, this is the only brother specific parameter needed. Please note that it should be run before the relevant device is physically connected to the computer. As mentioned before, these parameters are for network connected devices. The printer name parameter is the name you want to assign to the Windows print queue. If you omit it, by that I mean do not use it, the installer will use the driver name instead. In this example, the name of the print queue is called Accounts Printer and should be typed like this within quotation marks. Use this parameter if you want to set your brother device as the default print queue, omitting it or setting the value as zero will leave the current print queue as is. This parameter creates the connection to your brother device using its IP address. For example, like this. Alternatively, if you want to connect to your brother device using its node name, use the port name parameter for example, like this. Note that the IP address and port name parameters cannot be used at the same time. For reference, you can find the Microsoft Exec and brother specific MSI parameters used during this video in the description. <laughs>I will now build a sample MSI installer based on these specifications. Here is the first part of the installation using the MSI exec command, relevant parameters and name and location of the brother MSI installer. This is the name of the printer driver as taken directly from your device's data file. This is the name of the print queue. And this is the IP address of the device. Lastly, I'm using this parameter to set the HLL 6400DW as the default printer. 
this silent command is now ready. It can be run directly from the command prompt, assembled into a batch file, or PowerShell script. It can also be deployed through Windows Group Policy, as well as many other utilities capable of installing MSI files with additional parameters. Thank you.